Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Malia from Chase and Malia, and today we are talking about how to nail your Allstate audition. Now I know that it's 2020 and these are probably gonna be virtual auditions, but all of these tips are still gonna help you prepare and nail this audition. Today's video is specifically for the solo portion, so stay tuned for our next video, which we're gonna go over the music theory portion later. Now, this has been broken up into a few different categories, and I'm reading directly from the website, directly from how they're gonna judge you, so we're gonna go through and break them each down one by one. The first category that the judges are gonna judge you on is tone quality. Now, they've listed tone quality to include tone, breath support, bowels, and appropriate style. Now, all of those things are really important, and they all kind of sound pretty self-explanatory, but let me give you a few tips on each. For tone, one of the things I would recommend is to pick a song that really displays your voice the best. If you have the option at this point in the game to choose your song, make sure you kind of do some research and find a song that makes you sound really good. Now, if you've watched our channel before or you've seen our videos before, you know that Chase and I absolutely believe that vowels and breast support are the foundation to good singing. So it's no wonder that it's on the judges list. Now with vowels and breast support, it's way too big of a thing to give you guys all of the tips and all of the tricks that I have for you. But what I would say is make sure that you are using a good singer's breath, that you are breathing deep. You are not having shallow breaths where your shoulders or your chest rise. And with vowels, make sure you're using really good vowels that give you the most resonance in your sound, that are appropriate for the text and the language you're singing in, and that make you sound full voiced and in tune. Now the last portion, appropriate style, this just means that we are doing a classical song, so we need to sing in a classical style. It might not be your preference, it might not be how you normally sing, but again, this is all state auditions, so they are looking for a classical style. They don't need you to swing it or, I don't know, have a vocal fry or do some of the weird vowel modifications that we might do in a contemporary piece. You wanna make sure you are singing appropriately stylized, which is a classical style for this audition. Now the second category that you are going to be judged on is intonation. Now intonation is just defined as singing in tune. And again, that might sound obvious, but you'd be surprised how often we sing out of tune. And let me tell you a little secret probably because you're not using great breath support. So that's my biggest tip for intonation and singing in tune. Make sure you're taking deep breaths, make sure you are using all of your air and having really, really good airflow so that way you can stay in the key center. When you're practicing and maybe you're using a track, make sure you're listening. Listening, am I in the key? Am I singing in tune? If you're practicing a cappella, maybe grab a piano or a tuning fork or something that can help you kind of track have I stayed in tune? Am I still in the key? Am I staying on track? The third category you're gonna be judged on is accuracy. Now accuracy is gonna be the accuracy of the notes and the rhythms of the piece you are singing. So again, like I've said before, you probably have a song picked for you by your choir teacher, maybe you've chosen one yourself, but there's really a small category of songs you can choose. So the majority of these judges are gonna know the song by heart, if not just have the music in front of them. So they're gonna know if you're singing this correctly. So it's really important that you sing the notes and the rhythms correctly. Now my advice for practicing accuracy is to just divide everything up. So split up the melody, the words, the rhythm, practice it all separately before you combine it together. If you combine it together, you're thinking of too many things at once. If you split it up, you can create great foundations so that way once you do put it together, everything can be solid. The fourth category you're gonna be judged on is diction. Now diction is a fancy fancy word for pronunciation and how you're going to pronounce these words. Most likely you're going to be singing in Italian, maybe Spanish, maybe another language. You might even be singing in English, but either way, it's really important that you're pronouncing the words correctly. One of the things you should do is to write down the pronunciation in your music so that way when you're reading it, when you're practicing and memorizing all of this, you can do this in a way that makes sense to you. Maybe you don't know IPA yet. Maybe you can't read the phonetic alphabet, and that's fine. That's what's written under the words in your music, most likely. But if you don't understand what it's saying under there, then make up your own. Write it out to where it does make sense. Use recordings of other people singing the song, or get with your teacher, or ask us in the comments below how to pronounce these words so that way you're doing it correctly. Make sure, however you do it, that you write down the notes in your music so that while you practice, you practice correctly. All right, and the final category that you are going to be judged on for this solo portion of the audition is musicality. And musicality is probably my favorite part of being judged and it's the most exciting part of singing and it's probably the most important if you ask me. Now they break down musicality into two different sections. The first section is dynamics and the second section is how are you conveying the text? 
Now with dynamics, that's pretty obvious. Are you singing it the same dynamics all the way through? Just loud, 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 or soft, 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 soft. That's boring. Nobody wants to listen to that. You might be in tune, you might be singing it right, but it doesn't make you stand out. You have to remember that these judges have heard all of these songs over and over and over again. So if you want to stand out amongst hundreds of auditionees, you want to sing with really interesting dynamics. Now, dynamics can also play a role when you're talking about the text. So again, if you're singing in a different language, do you know what the words mean? Now, once you do know what you are singing about, you can use dynamics to emphasize an emotion. You can sing softer to make sure somebody's listening or sing louder for something that's really important. It's important though that you know what you're singing about so that it makes sense the dynamics you choose. It's also important that you're really intentional with these because you don't want to just say, okay, I'm going to be loud here just because I haven't been loud. It needs to make sense. Maybe it makes sense with the melodic line. Maybe it makes sense with the words. Whatever you choose, it needs to make sense, it needs to be intentional, and it's going to help you stand out as a great singer. All right, now the last tip that I have for you guys is just to have fun. Allstate is one of the most exciting experiences in your high school choral career. I remember being in Allstate, I remember auditioning for Allstate, and I remember it just being the best. It's so much fun to be surrounded by other people who love what you love and who are really, really good at it too. So try not to take this too seriously and that you kind of drive yourself crazy. Also, don't get too nervous. The judges, we're just like you. They're musicians, they're choir teachers. They love singing and they love music. Yes, they're judging you based on accuracy and all of these things that we've talked about, but they ultimately want to see you succeed. So try not to get too nervous, have fun, and good luck. I hope that the tips that we've talked about today help you practice and prepare so that you can nail your audition this year. If this video was helpful, then please give it a like. If you guys are new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified for our next video. Like I said before, the next video we're gonna make is about the second portion of your audition, which is the theory part. So if you need some tips and some ideas of how to practice for that, please be sure to stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I am Malia from Chase and Malia, and we will see you next time. Bye. If you are looking for a voice teacher, look no further. I have a degree in vocal music education and I would love to help you learn how to sing better. You don't have to want to be a professional singer either. You don't have to know how to match pitch. I'm here to help you reach your goals singing. If you would like more information, the link to our website is in the description box below.